Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's recipe, I am going to be showing you guys how to make the viral salmon and rice recipe. This recipe was created by a young lady named Emily Maricos on TikTok and I am here for it. Hopefully you like it. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and let's begin. If you would like to make this recipe at home, I will have the measurement in the description box below for you guys. So first thing I'll be doing is cooking my rice. I am going to be adding in about one cup of water to this saucepan here once that comes to a boil. I'm going to add one tablespoon of avocado oil as well as one teaspoon of salt. Now I'm going to take one cup of rice, make sure you wash it, and we're going to add that in there. Now, once you're done adding your rice, give it a stir. You are going to cover this until it's nice and dry, something like this. Okay, give it another stir, then we're going to cover it for another 15 minutes. Once your 15 minutes is over, this is your rice. Make sure you fluff it out and set it aside. Now, for the salmon, I am using Creole seasoning, Obey seasoning, and paprika, no salt or pepper. You are going to drizzle a little bit of oil on your salmon then you are going to generously season the salmon with the seasoning blend Don't forget to season the sides of the salmon as well and also the skin part. Now, in a hot skillet, I am going to drizzle about two to three tablespoons of avocado oil. You can use whatever oil that you do have in hand. Once that is nice and hot, you are going to place your salmon down. As you guys can see, I place it skin up, okay? That salmon was thick, honey. You need it to be nice and cooked. Once that side is nice and golden brown, you are going to flip it, which typically take about five minutes on medium low heat so you don't burn it, okay? So now, once one side is nice and golden brown, flip it over and also, I like to cook the side of the salmon just to ensure my salmon is nice and cooked through. All right, because I'm using freshly cooked rice, I don't need to use the ice cube method. Now I am going to take my cooked salmon, place it on top of the rice. Then I am going to use a fork to flake it until it resembles canned fish. Because I'm using skin on fish, I am going to remove the skin. You can eat that if you want. It's actually flavorful, okay? So now you're going to mix the rice and the fish together, just like that. Now I'm going to take some mayo. Now you can add as much mayo as you like. And also I, I will be adding in some sriracha sauce on there as well. And if you have some kimchi, you can also use some as well, but I couldn't find any. So we are going to mix that together just like that. Thank you. 
Now it's time for plating, one of my favorite part of making videos. I like my plate to look nice and beautiful and pretty and representable. So we're going to use some more of that mayo on top as well as the sriracha sauce. And also I have some avocado. We're going to add that on top as well. And you cannot forget some nicely chopped fresh scallion or green onions and also i'm using some sesame seeds so just make everything look nice okay and also i almost forgot to show you guys my seaweeds oh my god first time trying seaweeds and i love it i think i'm obsessed and i bought way too many <laughs> so i'm sitting here eating them like it's candy <laughs> But anyways, I hope you guys try it. I had to try this on camera for you guys. Oh my goodness. It is 10 out of 10 recommend. Okay. It's absolutely delicious. Try it out. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys soon on the next recipe. Bye.